Hey friends, I am in the house today. It is very, very windy outside. Everyone crossed their fingers so that it does not rain because we are planning a beach day today. But I did want to get this video all put together. I've been compiling photos and little video snippets of kind of how I've been preserving for the year. And this is the month of every little bit counts where you try and do a little bit every day in August to preserve your harvest so you're not overwhelmed in September. So I am going to go ahead, I've got a little list here, I'm going to try and put this video together. I'll do a little bit of talk over and explain to you how I'm trying to keep up with the garden as things come in, what things I've already done, and at the end I'll give you kind of an idea of some other things that I want to do and a couple resources if you're looking for ways to preserve food yourself and you're not really sure where to go. So I'm going to start with tomatoes. So this is a bowl of tomatoes I just went out and pulled before the rainstorm the other day. And I gotta tell you, is there anything prettier than an heirloom bucket of tomatoes? They're so pretty. And I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing with these. This is my third batch this summer. So I have two batches already done. Any little ones like this, we keep out for fresh eating. All these little ones, um, I wash them and I put them together in a container. My husband takes them to work or they just get munched on. They don't last very long. All these bigger ones, I go ahead and do something called core and score. And there are people on the internet that do this. Um, I saw it on Roots and Refuge from Just Sowards. You basically take the core out and then you put an X in the bottom to score. So core and score. And then you freeze this tomato whole. So I've got two batches in the freezer ready. Today I'm gonna do this batch, that'll be my third batch in the freezer. And then when you've got enough to, to preserve something, you pull them out, put them in the sink. When they thaw, these skins just peel right off and then you don't have to deal with tomato peels. It's lovely. And I make all my sauces and salsa in a big roaster pan. So I wait until I've got a good bunch of these. And if my summer into fall time is very busy, then I can wait until whenever I want because they're in the freezer just waiting for me when I got time to do them. So three batches of tomatoes in the books. Hello squash! This is one of those Polish zucchini. I got four of the slick picks. A couple of them are pretty big. These are going to be for muffins. And then I've got two. These are those center cut squash. You can see how this one's got that smooth shininess to it. This one will be good used as a summer squash. This one has started to get that dull look of a winter squash. I could probably use this for bread or something right now, or I could might cube it up and put it in the oven and roast it. That might be okay too. You can tell with these ones, this bulb on the bottom holds all of the seeds. So this whole entire neck is good for squash. So that is a lot of squash to use. Okay, I'm editing this and I wanna include this little caveat here. I don't know if this goes with the real rules of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, which it should because the the challenge is pretty much do what you want, what works for your house. For me, part of preserving is making sure that everything gets used and that includes working it into my meal plan. That's actually a very big part of preservation for me through August and September especially because I want to make sure that we're eating more seasonally, which means in August we're eating a whole lot of peppers and a whole lot of squash. So you're going to see some things in here where you're like, hey, that's not preservation for winter. And no, it might not be. But I'm making a conscious decision to put that into my meal plan to make sure that we are getting as much use out of everything that I'm growing as we can. So back to the video. And for tonight's dinner, beautiful center cut squash going to go in the oven and get roasted. Celery stems getting chopped up and frozen for stack and celery leaves are going to the chickens over the next couple days. Today we're turning this pile of green beans into this is our bean haul. There are a ton of beans in here.
actually really excited that I made this video. I did not think I'd gotten that much done. It feels like this whole season is a little bit behind from where I was last year and how much I was doing. So that was fun. Now, going forward, my plan is to continue to freeze tomatoes up until the frost. I probably will get one more small batch of beans to come in. Hang on, I have to parent. Okay, crisis averted. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more of tomatoes in the freezer. I'm going to be doing herbs as long as I can. <laughs> Today's a day of crisis. I don't know what's going on. Everyone's losing their minds. I'm gonna be doing more parsley, more dill. I've got plenty of oregano. Basil is very behind this year. I'm gonna be doing some more basil. All that kind of stuff I'll continue to do. I'll have one more crop of beans. I've just planted some fall beans that I'm hoping will end up being dry beans that I can just shell at the end of the year for dried chili beans. I have those going. And then I'm gonna be doing a lot of shopping at the local farmer's market to get things that I don't have, such as corn, and I didn't do potatoes this year. So I'll be doing a lot of canning more into September this year since things are further behind. I'm also going to be drying out flowers that are edible, calendula, making skincare products, all that kind of stuff. So that's all coming in the future. Everybody's so crazy. We're trying to go on this beach day and everybody's losing their minds. All right, Ava and I are struggling today. We're just trying to get out of the door to the beach. It's going to happen, I swear. So I am going to do a video probably tomorrow about how I got through learning to can, where I'm at in my canning journey, what good resources are, so you can kind of see how I'm doing, what I'm doing. I'll show you the tools that I have. I'll show you my dehydrator, which was super cheap and I got it well before I started even doing herbs. And that will all be coming tomorrow or Sunday. But today I'm gonna to go ahead and get this posted. I'm going to wrangle my children and we're gonna to head to the beach for mandatory family fun. Everyone wish me luck. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.